So I was just getting myself uh, sorted out. Ready to go. It's a beautiful day out there today. There's, there doesn't seem to be much wind. Nah, there's a little bit, but not enough to worry me. And I've got my two packs of um, not so much rest, but my two packs of uh, two cell lipos in there. So time to get both charges out, as that's done quite a few um, flight cycles. And um, when I connected this up. I thought I could uh, hear a crackle, but I wasn't sure, so I left it. And I thought I could hear it again, so I picked it up and go, oh, boy, could I smell it? It's um, it certainly cooked something in there. I just disconnected it um, from the battery and from the from the power, the power supply. So I'm gonna take a peek in the back and see what's going on with this. But I'm pretty certain something's fried. I'm not quite sure why it's fried. So, but fortunately, I've got a I've got another light pan that I've got on charge. And look at this. As you can see, this everything seems okay, doesn't it? Hmm, everything seems okay. Can you see this? I wonder if that will focus in very well. So I pull that out and pull and pull it. Try to go in and focus up there. Can you see that? It almost looks like it's uh, popped a hole in it. Oh, I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. That's completely disintegrated. Oh, there we go. Look. Now, I can see that the end of this number is uh, Five over, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume, rightly or wrongly, because it's got the same numbers down the bottom as this. Um, device here, this looks like a transistor. Um, it's got the same numbers down the bottom. I'm going to presume it's the same as this, which S8550. Hmm, I've seen those before. I see those on the DSO 138s, and I do happen to have a pack of those because on one of my DSO 138s. Uh, at one stage it came in without one. So I had to buy, I think it was 10. So I do have some replacement ones. So that would explain then what the what the smell and the popping was about, but why did that happen in the first place? I suppose is the bigger question for me because without knowing why it happened, I can imagine all that was out of focus. Without, I can't really do it again either, can I? No, never mind. Without um, knowing why it happened, let's just take a look at this chip. I don't know if it will happen again. So let's have a look. 12 volts, that's all we were putting in there. Hmm. Is it possible that they could have just had a faulty faulty transistor on here? I need to look it up. I need to find out exactly what that is, what it's for. Okay, so I've got it up on the screen. It's a um, 
very is low voltage high current small signal PMP transistor uh, current collector up to 700 milliamps collector emitter voltage up to 20 volts or I should probably say minus 20 volts designed for class B push pull audio amplifying general purpose applications okay now well, so you know what it is I know that I've got some so I can't see anything, any damage on anything else, there's nothing visible. I can't really check anything in circuit other than the um, diodes. I suppose this capacitor, possibly the inductor. And these couple of resistors, but I'll just give those a quick looking over. Well, you know, I'm just going to take out this first, I'm going to take out this... Uh, Transistor and put another one in there and just see what happens. Really, that's what I can do. So I'll come up and I've done that. So okay, I've put the um, put this in. The transistor. Well, it does have a difference. Yeah, they both say 8550s, but they got different numbers down the bottom, so uh, that could be date or batch or something. I'm not quite sure about that. So I suppose all I can do is plug this in. I'm trying to think of... I, I know these things get this one. Uh, well, they both get really, really warm. This one sort of fails out on me um, before it finishes. It just starts. Well, what it does is this uh, green light flashes on and off, and you can I can tell when I look at the power supply that it's flashing between so like um, 70 milliamps and uh, well uh, I, I see it more on the wattage actually. It sort of flashes up between three watts and then down to near enough zero and three watts and down to zero as this is flashing. And then what I normally do then is I just, uh, to complete the battery that this one was trying to charge, because this is very hot at the minute, um, I then just switch on to this to see it finishes off its charge, because this one charges fully. So I wonder if it's anything to do with me doing that. Well, I don't know. But I suppose the only way I'm going to find out if this works now is to plug the thing in. And just see what happens, I suppose. Now I'll plug in first without a load on it and see what happens, see if we get any smoke or anything. Oh, I'll just put my fingers on the edge there. Of course I'm not gonna get electrocuted, it's only it's only twelve volts, but let's just see. Okay. Mm, it still smells a little bit, but I can't hear any any crackling or popping. Now Having both these lights on indicates that it's fully charged. Or there's nothing there that's um, being charged. So this is a two cell. Now the difference between this charger here and this charger here is this will only deal with two cells. Where this one will deal with the two cells and three cells. So I've asked myself a few times, like, did I plug that in? But have I plugged that in wrong? Did I plug this one into this? But there's a, a mark there, I want this to indicate a couple of things. One, uh, this is the faulty um, house, um, battery charger, and it's just another reminder to me to you know, just, just think because of these differences. And of course you can see where I can plug in the, um, where I can plug in. But if you look there, look, I mean that's not a charging point, it's not a balancer. That's just the power, and I suppose that could be confusing um, if they're all sat here. But to be honest with you, that wasn't sat there at the time. I did go just to charge these two in parallel before. Um, <clears throat> but let's see what happens. Well, I can't hear any cracking. 
any cracks or pops or anything, which is what I thought I could hear before, which is quite good actually, because I would have missed that. I'm listening to music, but I um, I'd switched it off to take a call, and I hadn't put the music back on again when I chopped when I put these in. And if I had it done, I I could have missed it altogether. But so okay, that seems like well, that's. I'm just gonna feel and just see if anything's going hot. But no, nothing. Nothing, uh, nothing unexpected. This one gets a lot warmer than this one. And I suppose it's going to do at the moment because even though it's max, it's 800 milliamps, it says on, on here. Um, it'll do the 11.1 volt 3 cell. But it's got 800 milliamp output maximum. And it's outputting at the minute 8.7 watts at 12 volts, 0.73 amps so it is taking it you know quite to its uh it's having to work really hard at the minute oh there we go then so it's just a, a quick little blow out there 